Welcome to Ring Theory. In both the Fellowship of the Ring book and the Fellowship of the Ring film, we see the hobbits surrounded by ring wraiths at Weathertop. Unfortunately, Aragorn, or Strider as he's known at this point, was too late in arriving to stop Frodo being stabbed by the great Witch King himself with a Morgul blade. In the films, Aragorn says that he will soon become a wraith like them. And in the books, Gandalf tells Frodo at Rivendell that he would have become a lesser wraith. In this video, I'll be delving into what would have happened in the scenario that Frodo didn't survive. Would there be a tenth hobbit sized ring wraith riding around with a Nazgul? Would he be on a little pony instead of a horse? Would he have to get his own specialised smaller black cloak made in Mordor? As always, the only place to find answers is in the text. Firstly, what are wraiths? A wraith is someone who has died, yet lives on by some dark sorcery in the unseen world. Generally, we know very little about wraiths in Middle-earth, as the only nine recorded ones we know are the Nazgul themselves. One thing we do know is that the One Ring appears to be infused with such magic that it acts as a bridge of sorts between the seen and unseen worlds. This is shown when Frodo puts on the One Ring whilst being under attack from the Nazgul on Weathertop. He shut his eyes and struggled for a while, but resistance became unbearable, and at last he slowly drew out the chain and slipped the ring on the forefinger of his left hand. Immediately, though everything else remained as before, dim and dark, the shapes became terribly clear. He was able to see beneath their black wrappings, there were two tall figures, one standing on the lip of the dell, one advancing. In their white faces burned keen and merciless eyes. Under their mantles were long, grey robes. Upon their grey hairs were helms of silver. In their haggard hands were swords of steel. Their eyes fell on him and pierced him as they rushed towards him. Frodo is then stabbed by the Witch King with a Morgul blade. But what is a Morgul blade? Again, not much is known about these weapons, as this is the only one we hear of being used in the main writings. However, both Elrond, Aragorn and Gandalf have knowledge of the weapon. Elrond describes the purpose of it to break off in the wound after stabbing the victim. The remainder of the blade disintegrates, and the shard left in the body makes its way towards the heart, slowly turning the victim into a wraith. The fact that Elrond has this knowledge hints that there may well be more Morgul blades, and almost certainly more victims, just unrecorded in Middle-earth history. Does this mean perhaps that there are many lesser wraiths serving dark forces in the Unseen World, without the ability or will to resist? It's certainly possible. However, when considering what Frodo's fate would have been, there is an important distinction to make here. The difference between wraiths and ring wraiths. The nine ring wraiths were called so because they were corrupted in life by their rings of power and slowly faded, tied to the power of the one ring and therefore Sauron's will. The scenario of Frodo not recovering from his wound and becoming a wraith Sauron would claim the One Ring, so Frodo would no longer be a ring bearer. Unlike the ring wraiths, I think it's safe to assume Frodo would be a separate wraith, as opposed to one of the nine Nazgul or ring wraiths. As amusing as a sentiment it is, the nine would not get a hobbit sized tenth. But what would his existence be? By Gandalf saying that Frodo would have become a lesser wraith, it seems to suggest that he may be in service of the Nine Nazgul, or by proxy in service of Sauron, as the Nine are bound to serve him. For those that play Lord of the Rings Online, they seem to support this theory. In that game, they have lesser wraiths called Kargul, that act in service of the Ring Wraiths themselves. Of course, this is not officially Lord of the Rings lore, but they will have Tolkien lore experts behind the making of the game, so it's encouraging that they would come to the same conclusion. One further, less discussed point I would like to put forward is that Sauron is an expert of the Unseen World. After describing that Frodo would become a lesser wraith, 
Gandalf goes on to say Frodo would have also been tortured by Sauron. As well as being a great smith, evident in his ring making, Sauron's rings were able to intentionally and slowly turn men into wraiths, or ring wraiths. So, it's not a big leap to assume his expertise is high in this area. Considering this mastery, Frodo may have been subjected to something much worse than just serving the Nazgul. Sauron, in his knowledge of the Unseen Realm, may have chosen to ensnare Frodo in some sort of endless wraith torture for daring to think he could wield his ring. This is a chilling thought. Of course, I can't say any of this as fact as it is not stated, but it is based on what I believe are the most likely scenarios after looking at the descriptions from the characters in the text. But what do you think? Despite the evidence, I still like to imagine a tiny ring wraith on a very small fell beast flying down on Minas Tirith, greatly confusing the Gondorian soldiers. Please let me know if there's anything you can think of a tiny ring wraith Frodo doing in Middle Earth. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel, I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with the Lord of the Rings. Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy, and the new TV show. If you liked the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button below.